Access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. First, the talking about interest cheat sheet. With this cheat sheet, you'll be able to talk about your hobbies, how often you do them, and much more. Second, 10 phrases you need for introducing yourself. If you're new to the language and can't yet introduce yourself, then this one minute lesson is for you. Third, how to say hello like a native speaker. This quick lesson will teach you 15 unique ways to say hello and greet others. Fourth, most common ways to say goodbye. What about saying bye? Do you know all the ways to say bye in your target language? This one minute lesson will get them stuck in your head, guaranteed. Fifth, the how are you and how to answer it writing workbook. With this printable PDF workbook, you'll learn all the ways to ask and answer the question, how are you? And you'll be able to practice writing the phrases out as well. And finally, our big collection of language learning audiobooks for anyone who's watched this far. If you visit the link below, we'll send you over to our library of language learning audiobooks, which you can get for free. Save them to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Jumbo. Hello. Jumbo. Jumbo. Hello. Jumbo. Naweza ongea na Anna. Hello. Can I speak to Anna? Jambo, naweza ongea na Ana. Niwe radhi. Excuse me. Niwe radhi. Niwe radhi. Excuse me. Niwe radhi. Naweza angalia mzigo wako. Excuse me. May I please check your luggage? Niwie radhi. Naweza angalia mzigo wako. Kumladhi. I'm sorry. Kumladhi. Kum radhi. I'm sorry. Kumladhi. Nimechelewa. I'm sorry, I'm late. Kunlavi ni mechelewa. Lala salama. Good night. Lala salama. Lala salama. Good night. Nitaondoka sasa. Lala salama. I'll go now. Good night. Nitaondoka sasa. Lala salama. Ninafuraha kukutana nawe. Nice to meet you. Ninafuraha kukutana nawe. Ninafuraha kukutana nawe. Nice to meet you. Ninafuraha kukutana nawe. Rehema. Nice to meet you, Rehema. Nina furaha kukutana nawe, Rehema. Habarigani. How are you? Habarigani. Habarigani. How are you? Habarigani, Mze Juma. How are you, Mr. Juma? Habari gani mze juma? Ndiyo. Yes. Ndiyo. Ndiyo. Yes. Ndiyo. Najua. Yes, I know. Ndiyo. Najua. Hapana. No. Hapana. Hapana. 
No. Hapana, sijafika, lakini niko njiani. No, I've not yet arrived, but I'm on the way. Hapana, sijafika, lakini niko njiani. Asante. Thank you. Asante. Asante. Thank you. Asante, lakini sija kuagiza hii. Thank you, but I didn't order this. Asante, lakini sija kuagiza hii. Mimi ni? I am. Mimi ni? Mimi ni? I am. Mimi ni Maria. I am Maria. Mimi ni Maria. Kwa heri. Goodbye. Kwa heri. Kwa heri. Goodbye. Kwa heri, tutaonana jioni. Goodbye. See you in the evening. Kwa heri, tutaonana jioni. Mbaya. Bad. Mbaya. Mbaya. Bad. Mwanamume ni mbaya. The man is bad. Mwanamume ni mbaya. Nzuri. Good. Nzuri. Nzuri. Good. Mboga ni nzuri kwa mwili wako. Vegetables are good for you. Mboga ni nzuri kwa mwili wako. Rembo. Pretty. Rembo. Rembo. Pretty. Nguo yako ni rembo sana. Your dress is very pretty. Nguo yako ni rembo sana. Sawijika. Ugly. Sawijika. Sawijika. Ugly. Mbwa yule amesawijika mno. That is a very ugly dog. Mbwa yule amesawijika mno. Rahisi. Easy. Rahisi. Rahisi. Easy. Bidha yao ni mpya ni maridadi na raisi kutumia. Their new product is really elegant and easy to use. Biza yao mpya ni maridadi na rahisi kutumia. Ngumu. Difficult. Ngumu. Ngumu. Difficult. Hisabati ni ngumu. Mathematics is difficult. Hisabati ni ngumu. Karibu. Near. Karibu. Karibu. Near. Naishi karibu na chuo kiku. I live near the university. 
Naishi karibu na chuo kiku. Mbali. Fa. Mbali. Mba li. Fa. Mwanamke anatazama kitu kilicho mbali zaid. The woman is looking at something far away. Mwanamke anatazama kitu kilicho mbali zaid. Ndogo. Small. Ndogo. Ndo. Go. Small. Ndogo sana. Very small. Ndogo sana. Leo. Today. Leo. Leo. Today. Leo saa sita na dakika kuminatano. Today at 6.15. Leo saa sita na dakika kuminatano. Jana. Yesterday. Jana. Jana. Yesterday. Nilichukua siku ya likizo jana. I took a day off yesterday. Nilichukua siku. Yalikizo jana. Kesho. Tomorrow. Kesho. Kesho. Tomorrow. Kesho ni sikuku yangu ya kuzariwa. Tomorrow is my birthday. Kesho ni sikuku yangu ya kuzariwa. Wiki, week, wiki, wiki, week. Kuna siku saba katika wiki. There are seven days in a week. Kuna siku saba katika wiki. Mwaka, year. Mwaka. Mwaka. Ie. Mwaka wa chachawa. Lip ear. Mwaka wa chachawa. Sekunde. Second. Sekunde. Sekunde. Second. Kuna sekunde amsini na nane zilizobaki kwenye saa. There are 58 seconds left on the stopwatch. Kuna sekunde hamsini na nane zilizobaki kwenye saa. Dakika. Minutes. Dakika. Dakika. Minute. Ni dakika moja kufika usiku wa manane. It's one minute to midnight. Ni dakika moja kufika usiku wa manane. Lisa. Hour. Lisaa. Lisaa. Awa. Nitakuwa nyumbani kutoka kazini baada ya lisaa limoja. I'll be home from work in an hour. Nitakuwa nyumbani kutoka kazini baada ya lisaa limoja. Saa. Clock. Sa. Sa.
clock. Saa ya ukutani inabembea kwenye ukuta. The wall clock is hanging on the wall. Saa ya ukutani inabembea kwenye ukuta. Majila ya saa. O'clock. Majila ya saa. Majila ya saa. O'clock. Tutakuwa na mkutano majila saa tisa mchana. We'll have a meeting at three o'clock. Tutakuwa na mkutano majila ya saa tisa mchana. Kalenda. 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 Nilitia alama kwa kalenda siku ya ukumbusho wetu. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. Nilitia alama kwa kalenda Siku ya ukumbusho wetu. Jumatatu. Monday. Jumatatu. Jumatatu. Monday. Wiki ya kazi huanza Jumatatu. The work week starts on Monday. Wiki ya Kazi huanza juma tatu. Juma nne. Tuesday. Juma nne. Juma nne. Tuesday. Juma nne wiki kesho. Tuesday next week. Juma nne. Wiki kesho. Jumatano. Wednesday. Jumatano. Jumatano. Wednesday. Jumatano usiku, sisi ucheza mchezo wa karata katika nyumba yangu. Wednesday nights, we play poker at my house. Jumatano usiku. Sisi hucheza mchezo wa karata katika nyumba yangu. Alhamis. Thursday. Alhamis. Alhamis. Thursday. Kesho ni Jumatano na siku baada ya kesho ni Alhamis. Tomorrow is Wednesday and the day after tomorrow is Thursday. Kesho ni Jumatano na siku baada ya kesho ni Alhamis. Ijuma Friday. Ijuma Ijuma Friday. Andika mipango ya Ijumaa kwenye kalenda. Write the plans for Friday on the calendar. Andika mipango ya Ijumaa kwenye kalenda. Jumamosi. Saturday. Jumamosi. Jumamosi. Saturday. Mimi hufanya kazi ya nyumbani kila jumamosi kwa masaa matano. I do housework every Saturday for five hours. Mimi hufanya kazi ya nyumbani kila jumamosi kwa masaa matano. Jumapili. Sunday. Jumapili. Jumapili. Sunday. Sisi hupenda kulala kama kumechelewa jumapili ya subuhi. 
We like to sleep late on Sunday mornings. Sisi hupenda kulala kama kumechelewa jumapili asubuhi. Kufanya do. Kufanya. Kufanya. Do. Nina kazi nyingi za kufanya. I have so much work to do. Nina kazi nyingi za kufanya. Kwenda. Go. Kwenda. Kwenda. Go. Kwenda kwa bustani. Go to the park. Kwenda kwa bustani. Cheka. Laugh. Cheka. Cheka. Laugh. Wachumba walichekelea picha. The couple laughed at the picture. Wachumba walichekelea picha. Nitam. Delicious. Nitam. Nitamu. Delicious. Chakula hiki ni kitam. This food is delicious. Chakula hiki ni kitam. Maji. Water. Maji. Maji. Water. Waweza kunipa maji tafazari? Can I have some water please? Waweza kunipa maji tafadhali chai tea chai chai tea mwanamke huyu anakunywa chai the woman is drinking tea mwanamke Huyu anakunywa chai. Kahawa. Coffee. Kahawa. Kahawa. Coffee. Bilika la kahawa limeja kahawa. The coffee pot is full of coffee. Bilika la kahawa limeja ha kahawa pombe beer pombe pombe beer chupa ya pombe bottle of beer chupa ya pombe mvinyo wine mvinyo mvinyo wine mvinyo unamwaga kwa bilauri wine is being poured into the glass mvinyo unamwagwa kwa Bila uri. Nyama ya ngombe. Beef. Nyama ya ngombe. Nyama ya ngombe. Beef. Chagua la leo usiku ni nyama ya ngombe au kuku. Tonight's choices are beef or chicken. Chaguo la 
leo usiku ni nyama ya ngombe au kuku. Nyama ya kuku. Chicken. Nyama ya kuku. Nyama ya kuku. Chicken. Sipendi ngozi ya kuku. I don't like chicken skin. Sipendi ngozi ya kuku. Nyama ya nguruwe. Pork. Nyama ya nguruwe. Nyama ya nguruwe. Pork. Nyama ya nguruwe ni nyama inayopatikana kutoka kwa nguruwe. Pork is the meat from a pig. Nyama ya nguruwe ni nyama inayopatikana kutoka kwa nguruwe. Samaki. Fish. Samaki. Samaki. Fish. Wajapani hula samaki kwa wingi. Japanese people eat a lot of fish. Wajapani hula samaki kwa wingi. Nyama ya mbuzi. Lamb. Nyama ya mbuzi. Nyama ya mbuzi. Lamb. Egemeo ya nyama ya mbuzi. Rack of lamb. Egemeo ya nyama ya mbuzi. Daktari. Doctor. Daktari. Dakitari. Doctor. Daktari anapima papio la mgonjwa. The doctor is taking the patient's pass. Dakitari anapima papio la mgonjwa. Afisa polisi. Police officer. Afisa polisi. Afisa polisi. Police officer. Kazi ya afisa polisi ni kulinda na kuhudumia umma. The job of a police officer is to protect and save the public. Kazi ya afisa polisi ni kulinda na kuhudumia umma. Mwalimu Teacher Mwalimu Mwalimu Teacher Mwalimu anafunza wanafunzi darasani The teacher is teaching the kids in the classroom Mwalimu anafunza Wanafunzi darasani. Mfanyakazi. Mproi. Mfanyakazi. Mfanyakazi. Mproi. Malupulupu ya mfanyakazi. Mproi benefits. Marupulupu ya Mfanya kazi. Jo. Kam. Jo. Jo o. Kam. Jo hapa. Kam here. Jo o hapa. Kuona. Si. Kuona. Kuona. Si. Hawezi ona chochote bila miani yake. She cannot see anything without her glasses. Hawezi ona chochote 
bila miwani yake tengeneza make tengeneza tengeneza make mpishi hutengeneza kinywaji cha machungwa the chef makes orange juice mpishi hutengeneza kinywaji cha machungwa kutumia use kutumia kutumia use tumia kamera ya tarakilishi use a webcam tumia kamera ya tarakilishi weza can weza weza can naweza kula chakula cha viungo kadha wa kadha i can eat spicy food naweza kula chakula cha viungo kadha wa kadha sufuri zero sufuri sufuri zero ni karibu degree sufuri leo it's about zero degrees today ni karibu degree sufuri leo moja one moja moja one degree moja one degree degree moja mbili two mbili mbili two Nambali mbili ni nambali ninayoipenda zaidi. The number two is my favorite number. Nambari mbili ni nambari ninayoipenda zaidi. Tatu. Three. Tatu. Ta two. Three. Kikundi cha kwanza kiliwasili kwa basi nambari tatu. The first group arrived on bus number three. Kikundi cha kwanza kiliwasili kwa basi nambari tatu. Nne. Four. Nne. Nne. Four. Barabara ya njia nne. Four lane motorway. Barabara ya njia nne. Tano. Five. Tano. Tano. Five. Kiti cha pweza kina migu mitano. The starfish has five legs. Kiti cha pweza kina migu tano sita six sita sita six vitu sita six things vitu sita saba seven saba sa ba 7 Kuna siku saba katika wiki There are seven days in a week Kuna siku saba katika wiki Nane. 
nane na ne eight Nina mtoto wa kike wa miaka nane. I have an eight year old daughter. Nina mtoto wa kike wa miaka nane. Tisa. Nine. Tisa. Tisa. Nine. Asilimia tisini na tisa. Ninety-nine percent. Asilimia tisini na tisa. Kumi. Ten. Kumi. Kumi. Ten. Naweza hesabu moja hadi kumi kwa kichina. I can count from one to ten in Chinese. Naweza hesabu moja hadi kumi kwa kichina. Muzaji. Salesman. Muzaji. Muzaji. Salesman. Muzaji anamsarimu mteja. The salesman is greeting a customer. Muzaji anamsarimu mteja. Manager. 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 Manager wa idala anasimamia uzalishaji. The department manager is in charge of production. Manager wa idara anasimamia uzalishaji. Mpishi cook. Mpishi. Mpishi cook. Yeye ni mpishi katika mgaawa wa daraja la nne. She's a cook at a foster restaurant. Yeye ni mpishi katika mgaawa wa daraja la nne. Mhandisi. Engineer. Mhandisi. Mhandisi. Engineer. Mhandisi mzuri anaweza lasim na kujenga mifumo. A good engineer can design and build systems. Mhandisi mzuri anaweza rasimu na kujenga mifumo. Programmer. 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 Programma. Programma. Mimi ni programma. I am a programma. Mimi ni programma. Muguzi. Nurse. Muguzi. Muguzi. Nurse. Mwanamke huyu ni muuguzi. The woman is a nurse. Mwanamke huyu ni muuguzi. Mwili. Body. Mwili. Mwili. Body. Chakula ndicho kinachoendesha mwili. Food is fuel for the body. Chakula ndicho kinacho endesha mwili. Kichwa. Head. Kichwa. Kichwa. Head. Vam rembe kulinda kichwa chako. 
Wear a helmet to protect your head. Vaa mrembe kulinda kichwa chako. Kiganja chamkono. Hunt. Kiganja chamkono. Kiganja cha mkono. Hunt. Mtoto anainua kiganja cha mkono wake. The child is raising his hand. Mtoto anainua kiganja cha mkono wake. Mkono. Am. Um. Mkono. Mkono. Am. Um. Mkono wa misuri. Muscular arm. Mkono wa misuli. Ngu. Foot. Ngu. Ngu u. Foot. Ngu una vidole vitano. A foot has five toes. Ngu u. Una vidore vitano. Ngu. Leg. Ngu. Ngu u. Leg. Migu mirefu. Long legs. Migu u. Mirefu. Kidole. Finger. Kidole. Kidole. Finger. Kidole changu kinatokwa na damu. My fingers bleeding. Kidole changu kinatokwa na damu. Mgongo. Back. Mgongo. Mgongo wa kalungu yeye umefunikwa na michache kali. A hedgehog's back is covered in sharp spines. Mgongo wa kalungu yeye umefunikwa na micheche kali. Tumbo. Stomach. Tumbo. Tumbo. Stomach. Nilikula kupita kiasi. Sasa hivi tumbo langu linauma. I ate too much and now my stomach hurts. Nilikula kupita kiasi. Sasa hivi tumbo langu linauma. Kifua. Chest. Kifua. Kifua kinauma. I have chest pains. Kifua kinauma. January. 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 Mali hapa ni baridi katika mwezi wa January. It's very cold here in January. Mahali hapa ni baridi katika mwezi wa January. February. 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 February ndiyo mwezi mfupi zaidi ukiwa na siku 28. February is the shortest month with 28 days. February ndiyo mwezi mfupi zaidi ukiwa na siku 28. Machi. March. Machi. Machi. March. Sasa ni mwezi wa aprili. 
kwa hivyo mwezi jana ulikuwa machi. It's now April. So last month was March. Sasa ni mwezi wa aprili. Kwa hivyo mwezi jana ulikuwa machi. Aprili. April. Aprili. Aprili. April. Mvua ya Aprili huleta maua ya mwezi wa Mei. April showers brings May flowers. Mvua ya Aprili huleta maua ya mwezi wa Mei. 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 Mei 31 ni siku ya kutovuta sigala duniani kote. May 31st is World No Smoking Day. Mei 31 ni siku ya kutovuta sigara duniani kote. Juni. June. Juni. Juni. June. Tutawana katika mwezi wa Juni. We are getting married in June. Tutaoana katika mwezi wa Juni. July. 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 Julai ni jina lilotunikiwa Julius Caesar aliyezaliwa mwezi wa Julai. Julai is named for Julius Caesar who was born in July. Julai ni jina lilotunikiwa Julius Caesar aliyezaliwa mwezi wa Julai. Agosti. August. Agosti. Agosti. August. Shule hufungwa katika mwezi wa Agosti. The school is closed in August. Shule hufungwa katika mwezi wa Agosti. September. 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 Leo ni Jumamosi, mwezi wa Septemba siku ya kumi. Today is Saturday, September 10th. Leo ni Jumamosi, mwezi wa Septemba siku ya kumi. October. 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 October kumi na tatu. On October 13th. October kumi na tatu. November. 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 November ni moja wapo ya miezi binne ilio na siku therasini. November is one of the four months with 30 days. November ni moja wapo ya miezi minne ilio na siku serathini. December. 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 Watu hungoja mwezi wa December sana ili kushelekea Christmasi. People wait for the months of December so that they can celebrate Christmas. Watu hungoja mwezi wa December sana ili kushelekea Christmasi. Sa. Watch. Sa. Sa a. Watch. Alipokea sa kutoka kwa wazazi wake baada ya sherehe ya kuitimu. She got a watch from her parents after the graduation ceremony. Alipokea saa 
kutoka kwa wazazi wake baada ya sherehe ya kuhitimu. Miwani glasses Miwani miwani glasses Hii miwani ya jua ni pesa ngapi? How much are these sunglasses? Hii miwani ya jua ni pesa ngapi? Koti Jacket Koti Koti Jacket Hiyo koti inaonekana nzuri kwako. That jacket looks nice on you. Hiyo koti inaonekana nzuri kwako. Kupokea Receive Kupokea Kupokea Receive Natarajia kupokea maripo yake kesho. I expect to receive her payment tomorrow. Natarajia kupokea malipo yake kesho. Tafuta. Search. Tafuta. Tafuta. Search. Nilitafuta ufunguo uliopotea kwa saa mbili. I searched two hours for the lost key. Nilitafuta ufunguo uliopotea kwa saa mbili. Chukua. Take. Chukua. Chukua. Take. Je, yeah. wewe uchukua kadi ya mikopo? Do you take credit card? Je, yeah. wewe huchukua kadi ya mikopo? Daifu. Week. Daifu. Daifu. Week. Watu watatumia uzaifu wako kukutania na kukufanya uhisi duni. People will use the weakness you have to make fun of you and make you feel inadequate. Watu watatumia uzaifu wako kukutania na kukufanya uhisi duni. Shupavu. Strong. Shupavu. Shupavu. Strong. Ka kwa ushupavu. Stay strong. Ka a kwa ushupavu. Baridi, cold. Baridi, baridi, cold. Mimi sipendi kuoga na maji baridi. I don't like taking a shower in cold water. Mimi sipendi kuoga na maji baridi. Joto, hot. Joto, joto, hot. Jua linachomwa jangwa lililo na joto. The sun is hitting the hot desert. Jua linachoma jangwa lililo na joto. Chekesha, funny. Chekesha, chekesha. Fani, kitabu hiki kinachekesha sana. This book is pretty funny. Kitabu hiki kinachekesha sana. Furisi, pitch. Furisi, furisi, pitch. He furisi ni kubwa kweli. This pitch is little big. He furisi ni kubwa kweli. Chungwa. Orange. Chungwa. Chungwa. 
orange. Nimelala hapa chini ya mti wa mchungwa. I am laying here under an orange tree. Nimelala hapa chini ya mti wa mchungwa. Viazi, potato. Viazi, viazi, potato. Leo nilikula viazi vitam kama kiamsha kinywa. Today I had sweet potatoes for breakfast. Leo nilikula viazi vitamu kama kiamsha kinywa. Lagwe soya. Soybean. Lagwe soya. Lagwe soya. Soybean. Lagwe soya humea ndani ya maganda. Soybeans grow inside the pods. Lagwe soya humea ndani ya maganda. Mboga. Vegetable. Mboga. Mboga. Vegetable. Somo hilo ni laisi kama mboga. This subject is as easy as vegetables. Somo hilo ni rahisi kama mboga. Ngombe. Cow. Ngombe. Ngombe. Cow. Hawa ni ngombe wawili. These are two cows. Hawa ni ngombe wawili. Nguruwe. Pig. Nguruwe. Nguruwe. Pig. Nguruwe wanabarizi kwenye jua. The pigs are resting in the sun. Nguruwe wanabarizi kwenye jua. Farasi. Horse. Farasi. Farasi. Horse. Farasi anakimbia kwenye uwanja. The horse is running in the field. Farasi anakimbia kwenye uwanja. Theruji. Snow. Theruji. Theruji. Snow. Kutanyesha theruji leo arasili. It's going to snow this afternoon. Kutanyesha theruji leo arasili. Not enough time in the day. This is one of the biggest reasons people struggle with learning a language. Sure, you want to speak the language fluently, but you're already busy with work, school, relationships, TV shows, and goals that you just can't give up on. But the truth is, if you're going out and commuting, then you actually do have a bit of time, which is actually enough to learn a language if you're learning the right way. Five easy ways to learn while on a walk or on your commute. So in this guide, you'll discover how you can learn a language and make meaningful progress on your walks or commutes, and how to apply these tips to our learning system. But you can also apply them to your other resources. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So how can you learn on a commute or a 10 minute walk? Number one. Download our free app, Innovative Language Learning. If you're already thinking that getting an app is obvious, you're right. But many apps out there require you to be actively tapping and using your device, which may not be good if your commute involves driving. With Innovative Language Learning, you can just press play on a lesson and listen to practical conversations in your target language, all hands-free. You hear real speakers, real voices. And then our teachers explain all the words and grammar rules from the conversation while you're walking or even driving. Each lesson is just a few minutes long, meaning you can learn quite a bit on a 10-minute commute. Number two, boost your vocabulary with the word of the day. This is another thing you can do on the go. Our free Word of the Day email lessons are sent daily, and all you have to do is open up your phone, check the email, and learn the word. 
and that only takes a minute or less. Many of our existing learners like this study tool because even if they're too busy to do anything else, keeping up with the word of the day still keeps them on track with the language. Everyone that signs up to our learning system gets the free word of the day automatically. So if you want the study tool, just click the link in the description. Number three, swipe through our vocabulary and phrase images. You know how you open up your Photos app and swipe through to look at your pictures? Well, you can do just that and learn words and phrases at the same time with our infographics. Just download our free infographics. These contain several words per image, so you're not learning just one word at a time. And then swipe through while you're on a walk or on a commute. Of course, you can do this with other resources too, like our PDF cheat sheets. Number four, listen to words and phrases on repeat with our audio slideshow. Just visit our free vocabulary lists inside the menu. Pick a list and select Play Slideshow. You can set this slideshow on a loop and play the words and phrases over and over while you're out on the go. And number five, learn with your teacher on the go. If you're a Premium Plus member, you can also use our app to interact with your teacher, ask questions, make recordings of yourself speaking, and get corrections. Just tap on My Teacher on the bottom menu. Many of our learners will spend a few minutes sending questions about grammar they've learned in the lessons, and others send quick write-ups about their day for corrections. So go ahead and try any one of these tips and learn a bit of the language while you're out on the go. And if you want to get access to these resources and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Not enough time in the day. This is one of the biggest reasons people struggle with learning a language. Sure, you want to speak the language fluently, but you're already busy with work, school, relationships, TV shows, and goals that you just can't give up on. But the truth is, if you're going out and commuting, then you actually do have a bit of time, which is actually enough to learn a language if you're learning the right way. Five easy ways to learn while on a walk or on your commute. So in this guide, you'll discover how you can learn a language and make meaningful progress on your walks or commutes, and how to apply these tips to our learning system, but you can also apply them to your other resources. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So how can you learn on a commute or a 10-minute walk? Number one. Download our free app, Innovative Language Learning. If you're already thinking that getting an app is obvious, you're right. But many apps out there require you to be actively tapping and using your device, which may not be good if your commute involves driving. With Innovative Language Learning, you can just press play on a lesson and listen to practical conversations in your target language, all hands-free. You hear real speakers, real voices. And then our teachers explain all the words and grammar rules from the conversation while you're walking or even driving. Each lesson is just a few minutes long, meaning you can learn quite a bit on a 10-minute commute. Number two, boost your vocabulary with the word of the day. This is another thing you can do on the go. Our free Word of the Day email lessons are sent daily, and all you have to do is open up your phone, check the email, and learn the word. And that only takes a minute or less. Many of our existing learners like this study tool because even if they're too busy to do anything else, keeping up with the Word of the Day still keeps them on track with the language. Everyone that signs up to our learning system gets the free Word of the Day automatically. So if you want the study tool, just click the link in the description. Number three, swipe through our vocabulary and phrase images. You know how you open up your Photos app and swipe through to look at your pictures? Well, you can do just that and learn words and phrases at the same time with our infographics. Just download our free infographics. These contain several words per image, so you're not learning just one word at a time. And then swipe through while you're on a walk or on a commute. Of course, you can do this with other resources too, like our PDF cheat sheets. Number four, listen to words and phrases on repeat with our audio slideshow. Just visit our free vocabulary lists inside the menu. Pick a list and select Play Slideshow. You can set this slideshow on a loop and play the words and phrases over and over while you're out on the go. And number five, learn with your teacher on the go. 
If you're a Premium Plus member, you can also use our app to interact with your teacher, ask questions, make recordings of yourself speaking, and get corrections. Just tap on My Teacher on the bottom menu. Many of our learners will spend a few minutes sending questions about grammar they've learned in the lessons, and others send quick write-ups about their day for corrections. So go ahead and try any one of these tips and learn a bit of the language while you're out on the go. And if you want to get access to these resources and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. Ever listen to a song on repeat until the lyrics get stuck in your head? Well, you can do just that with language learning. Listening to your target language on repeat is a guaranteed way to get the language stuck in your head. Just imagine, you hit play and sit back and listen to the most common words and phrases on loop until they're stuck in your head without having to do much else. Does this work? And how can you do this? Stick around. How to review words on repeat and learn fast with this study tool. In this guide, you'll discover one, a special free study tool that does the repetition for you, two, how to get words and phrases stuck in your head, and three, how to practice speaking in your target language. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. First, how can you start listening to your target language on repeat? If you're learning with our system, then you already have access to something called the Vocabulary Slideshow, which helps you do just that. And picture this, you could be walking to the store, going to work, or lying on the couch, listening to words and phrases on repeat with the Vocabulary Slideshow. There are no ads to interrupt you like you have on YouTube. And you come out knowing and speaking more of your target language without doing much work. And this approach works because it's repetition, a powerful way to learn almost anything. Except the Vocabulary Slideshow does all the repetition for you. And you'll find the Vocabulary Slideshow inside our free vocabulary lists and in our audio lessons. So if you visit a vocabulary list, look for the Slideshow button at the top. And if you're on a lesson, scroll down to the vocabulary section and click Slideshow. Second, how can you listen to your target language on repeat with this? First, pick a free vocabulary or phrase list. You'll get hundreds of lists based on common topics like asking and answering, how are you? Winter vocabulary, talking about your day, and more. Just pick a list of phrases you want to learn. When you open the list and click on the Slideshow button, make sure to check the Loop Playback option. You can also exclude the translation audio so you can listen to just your target language and then start the slideshow and it'll play on repeat. If you want to practice speaking and shadowing the words, make sure the slideshow is set to slow so you get plenty of time in between words. Otherwise, if you set it to fast, there won't be much time in between, which is also good if you just want to drill the words until they're stuck in your head. So, if you want to get access to this learning tool and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. If you want to learn more words so you can speak and understand even more of your target language, there is a super simple way to do this. In fact, it's so simple that most people don't even think of it because it doesn't involve language apps, YouTube videos, or your computer. I'm talking about writing things out by hand. How to learn words and phrases by writing them out. 
And in this guide, you'll discover, one, why writing words out helps you pick up languages faster, two, how to use our free PDF workbooks to practice writing, and much more. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. You probably already know that one of the best ways to master a language is through actually using it and practicing it. And that's where writing things out comes in, because you're using the language when you write it down. And on top of that, the physical act of writing helps your brain remember the words much better than seeing them on screen or typing them out. Now, handwriting may feel slow, but by taking it slow, you actually speed up your learning and master the language faster because you engage more of your brain in the process. So, how can you do this? You can apply this trick to any resource that you're using right now by simply copying out the words and phrases that you come across. The more you write them out, the better they'll stick. With our learning system, you can... 1. Practice with our free PDF writing workbooks and worksheets. All members get free access to our PDF writing workbooks and worksheets, which are based on common topics like the alphabet, common nouns, adjectives, greetings, and much more. Inside, you learn the most common words and phrases for that topic, and you get plenty of space to practice writing the words out. And in the last section of the workbook, you'll get tested on the words. You'll see the translations of the words, so you'll have to try and remember the meaning in the target language and write it in. Two. Practice writing with the free Word of the Day emails. Every day, we send you a new word to your email inbox. You get the audio pronunciation, sample sentence, and a picture to help it stick. But you can also just as easily write that word down and do that daily every time the emails come in. And now you have a simple language routine going that you can stick with. Now, if you want to learn a little more than just words, you can... 3. Practice writing out the conversations from our lessons. So, if you want to master entire conversations in your target language, you can also copy out the conversations from our audio and video lessons by hand. And this will help you master words, phrases, and grammar rules all at once, since you're not just writing out words, but actual lines. Just scroll down to the dialogue section of a lesson to see the conversation. So if you want to get access to these learning tools and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Learning to speak at a basic level in your target language isn't hard at all. In fact, you could cheat your way into speaking and you could do this in just a few minutes a day, anywhere, anytime. How? How to learn conversations on the go with conversation cheat sheets. Stick around. In this quick guide, you'll discover, one, a free cheat way to start speaking in your target language, two, how to pick up practical conversations anywhere, anytime, and more. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So, one, how can you learn to speak the basics of your target language? With our conversation cheat sheets, you can basically cheat and start speaking today. You learn a basic practical conversation in every cheat sheet, plus additional words, so you can plug in and create your own sentences. All you have to do is quickly review the cheat sheet for a minute or two, read the phrases out loud, and that's it. Second, how to pick up practical conversations anywhere, anytime. You get over 30 such conversation cheat sheets on our website all covering practical topics such as numbers, talking on the phone, greetings and survival phrases, and more. And the best part is, you can download these cheat sheets as PDFs and keep them forever. Save them to your phone or even print them out and quickly review them anywhere. So if you're out on the go and want to learn a bit of language for a few minutes, you can quickly glance through the cheat sheets on your phone. If you want to get access to these learning tools and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Great work, here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.